What's up everyone, Norman here and you're watching IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. It's almost trend everywhere. People on the YouTube channels always talk about the positive sides of being a controlled engineer. In this particular video, I'm going to share other side or dark side of being a controlled engineer. What are the challenges that are faced by PLC, DCS and SCADA engineer? When you're working as a control engineer, there are two different mainstreams over there. One is working as a maintenance engineer in some of the production plant like it can be oil and gas, power plant, cement plant or any other process plant. This video is not about those people who are working in maintenance role in these production plants. This video is all about when you're working as a system integrator, are you working in a main vendors like Siemens, GE, Rockwell and the companies like that. This video is sponsored by Vcon Technologies. Vcon provide integrated products and solutions for automation such as HMI, PLC, server controller, IIoT solutions like VNet and VBox and Inverter. Inspiring control engineers should know the reality in contract with expectation of six-figure salary, travel, free coffee, food, car and other benefits. Yes, this is all possible. I'm not denying it. But this will come in your way with some harsh outcomes as well. So what are those negative aspects of being a control engineer? Number one thing in that regard is burnout. I've seen many people working in control domain and big vendors. I was working in GE. Companies like GE, Siemens, they will take a lot of work from you. They will give you a lot of tasks. You will not have free time at all. You might be working nine to five in the office. Problem starts when you would not be free when you are back home. You still have to work a lot to keep the expectation of the employee. Your task list will look like never ending story. You would have a lot of projects to do and the timeline and schedule for these projects is very tight. If you would be working minimum 10 to 15 hours per day, the probable result of a burnout is always there. You can definitely enjoy that kind of a culture at the start, but eventually with the family, things will get very difficult for you because everybody needs to spend time with the family. If you are the one who believe in work and life balance, then for sure you would face a lot of trouble working as an automation PLC, DCS or SCADA engineer. In most of the big multinational vendors and in system integrator, you might have to travel a lot because the projects are definitely at different locations in different countries. And once you would be going for the installation and commissioning, then you have to definitely travel a lot. It happens to me when I was working in G. I have to travel a lot. Like for instance, I can tell you one story. I've been told for five site plans and these sites were back to back. So I have to travel one side to another and another side to another one. And that story was never ending. It took almost one month plus to reach back to the home. Sometimes the situation can get more worse. You might have to work for six months at one site. You will get frustrated if in the case you're working in that pattern. Travel is one of the key considerations if you are looking for the role in controls domain. Initially, travel will look very good for you, but reality is very different. When you are going to the site, you might not even think about what's the environment around you. That blind would not allow you to think even for a second where you are. So it would be like that you are in a paradise, but you are still in hell because you have to complete your task on specified time. If you will not be able to do that, multinational company's culture will never ever allow you to sustain in that company. If you are flexible in traveling, if you are not married yet, you don't have a lot of responsibility in your family, then you can definitely opt for that initially. But with the time, this would definitely get difficult for you. One another thing which is very important, like if you are targeting to get a job in controls domain, it's not an easy thing you have to definitely pass through a lot of struggle. You might be preparing day and night, looking into PLCs, DCS, CADA, communication protocols. Once you get into the interview, you are well prepared in Siemens. The people there might be looking for Aaron Bradley skill set. If you are prepared with the Modbus, the people there would ask you the question from MQTT. If you are prepared about OPC, OPC DA, and the people there can ask you question of OPC UA as well. When we talk about the controls engineer domain, there is a sea of knowledge that is there 
and everybody cannot be expert for sure in everything. This is one of the harsh reality also. When you are going for the control engineer role, you have to put in a lot of effort and sometime when you're going for interview, you might face a lot of failures. But if in the case you're determined and you don't give up in that process, you can definitely get a good job in that domain as well. One of the most frustrating thing in the tech world, the technology is always changing and you have to keep yourself updated every day. If in the case you are not updating yourself, there would be always a risk that you would be replaced easily with the people who have a high skill and they are willing to join that company with the less salary as you're earning. The company might look for those people who are more talented or who have a skill set that are not outdated. So it's one of the key challenge that you might face when you're working in, as a control engineer that once you know one skill set, that's not enough. You have to kind of keep yourself updated with the latest trends and technologies. So you have to work, sleep, learn. This is the only pattern. Work, eat, sleep and learn, nothing else. So if in the case you are kind of a person who is not that social animal, and for sure you can enjoy that role. But if in the case you are a person like me, who loves to spend the time with the family, who love to go out with the friends and have some fun out there as well, then for sure it would be a big challenge for you to survive in these companies. I've been working with almost every kind of industry, in a maintenance role, in the defense sector, in oil and gas sector, in a cement sector, in education sector. But one of the things which I've seen in multinational environment and system integrator is the mental health issues. Because people have a lot of work to do, they are always occupied with a lot of work, and they have family commitments as well, so they are not able to join their family functions as well just because of the tight routine, so that will result in the mental health issues. This is one of the key factor. If you're considering to become an automation engineer, in industry people are not willing to teach you what you need to do the job properly. Like you will not be trained on the skill set while you are on the job. Industry expect you to be already trained and start doing the job right away. One another frustrating thing is that you would not be aware what you're doing in some of the cases. It is quite possible that you might do some activity and you don't know how you have done it. Because technology is like that. You might end up in hit and, hit and trial method and some of the thing will work and you would not be aware why it worked. What is the you know, concept behind that? So this is one of the another important thing that you have to look into that while selecting your career as an automation engineer. Yes, I'm not denying here that the automation engineer and control engineer PLC in SCADA or application engineer job is one of the high paid job that exists, but the competition is very high. If in the case you get it, there are, a lot, there are a lot of benefits that you will get it, which I have explained in earlier videos, but this video is all about what, are, what is the negative side of being control engineer. That's all for today. If in the case you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.